Brian from Sublime. We're going to design a do-it-yourself cob and module light. We're going to put four Creasy XB 3590s with heat sinks and fans on a 3 by 3 piece of aluminum with some modules and lenses on the cobs. Then we'll do a spade vector radiometer analysis and power analysis of it. We have the three-quarter aluminum bracing whether we want the inside of the modules and the Cree chipsets to go and the drivers. Then we lay out where we're going to put the modules and the Cree CXB3590 chipsets with the lenses. We do this from the back side, make the markings for drilling. Then you mark around your lens <coughs> lens holder so you find the center and then you make a dot in the center where you're going to drill out the hole where the heat sink and the chipset will be facing. You find the center and then you drill a pilot hole with the drill bit so when you put the hole saw in there it's got something to center around it so it doesn't move around. Then you drill out, remove the center hole piece, and do all four of them, and then you'll come back and do the modules. Now you have four holes for the cobs on the corners. You now have eight holes, either to run eight cobs, or six modules and four cobs, as we're going to do on this build. That's how it looks from the reflector side. Then you want to pre-drill all your marked holes for the, the lenses and for the modules. The four for the modules, the four there are for the lenses on the corners. Then the modules would be put in and the lenses from the other side. Now you get the mounting hardware that comes with the heat sinks for the fans to put in the corners. All right, I put the brackets that hold the heat sink onto the frame and notice I had to drill a hole in the middle of the bracket to put the bolt from the other side so it doesn't come in contact with the, with the frame of the reflector. The reflector frame here will hit from the bottom of it if you don't do that. If you put Angelina reflectors on you won't need that but to do this you center it on the circle on the four corners and then you put a screw in the middle of the bracket on each side as you can see you know, we do all four of the cobs like this I'm going to put the lens on it to show the demonstration and then this will be the end of part one of this build make sure you clean around the chipset and the lens you put the seal in there so it's flush the bottom of the holder so when you go around there it'll be the last time you can clean this make sure it's clean really well put the four self tapping screws around the outside of the lens holder and then you got one cob done this will end part one because I have, I'm out of screws and I got to go get more screws to finish up. Thanks for watching. Part 2 will be coming shortly.